Thank you guys very much for the views and the subscriptions. We are here in the garage today and I'm gonna to report to you, Yellow reported to be nearing a deal for a bankruptcy loan. And I know that there's gonna be a lot of non-union guys out there that doesn't quite understand just how great the true value there is in the union. You can have your opinions, you know, any which way that you want. When it comes down to it, we wouldn't have, these companies wouldn't be held accountable for the benefits, pension, and all the other things that are implemented into these contracts by the Teamsters without the Teamsters, okay? So, Yellow reported to be nearing a deal, a deal for bankruptcy loan. So I have here, and it begins. Less than truckload carrier, Yellow Corp is reported to be nearing a deal with lenders that will provide it funds as it approaches a liquidation of assets in bankruptcy. Apollo Global Management NYSE APO, one of Yellow's current lenders, is reported to be leading a group that will provide Yellow with a new with new capital in the form of debtor in possession financing, according to Bloomberg and Reuters. The investment could be a way for Apollo to secure a position atop the pecking order in a bankruptcy scenario. <clears throat> so Apollo Global Management. It's, it's a lender. The investment group has lean position on a portion of the company's outstanding debt currently. The U.S. Treasury holds first lean position on a 400 million tranche of a COVID relief loan that Yellow used use to replace tractors and trailers. Now, as you guys know, Yellow does uh, lease a lot of equipment and even yards. On Sunday, the Teamsters said the carrier notified union leadership it would file for bankruptcy. You all remember. That announcement came a few hours after Yellow closed the gates at its terminals and posted signs saying it had ceased all operations. Maybe, or many of its non-union employees were laid off on Friday. Unable to reach terms with its union workforce over proposed operational changes, the company saw freight flee its network as many of its customers sought other transportation options, fearing Yellow would soon be out of money and forced to close. Yellow was also facing a debt load of 1.5 billion, 1.3 billion of which matures next year. So 1.3 of that 1.5 matures next year. It has maintained in recent months that its lending group required the change of operations to be approved by Teamsters before helping it restructure the debt. Shares of Yellow have increased more than fourfold since Friday. Since Friday's closing price of 71 cents, it's already at well over a dollar. Boston Hedge Fund, MFN, Partners has amassed 42.5%, 22 million shares, uh, stake in the company since July 10th. So that makes things, there could be still a bright feature for Yellow. Some in the industry have speculated that MFN's relatively cheap investment in Yellow is a hedge to protect a nearly $900 million investment it has in LTL competitor XPO. Okay, so this is huge. Those of you that wanna be out there and complain that, oh, Yellow's getting bailed out again and all this stuff, why not? Why not? You're continuing to put food on these hardworking men and women's tables, period. That's how our tax dollars should be used. What you should be questioning is how those tax dollars are being used that we all know that there's black market operations going on out there. We all know that all this money's going over to Ukraine. I don't, you know, wherever you stand with that is where you stand with it. You know, it's good to know where your money is going. Instead of complaining about tax dollars going to bail out these, this irresponsible company, okay? It is not the Teamsters that are irresponsible, it is the company. And it is the company alone that has screwed so many Teamsters time and time again right? For those of you that say yellow guys lost their pensions prior to 2008, no, they did not. What happened is they, is the company stopped contributing to the pension fund. So as long as you were vested prior to 2008, so five years prior, it takes five years to become vested as a teamster. 
at the age of 65, they will still receive a pension. Or like here on the West Coast, there's a Pier 80 uh, rule and it's a totally separate fund, okay? When it comes to freight and all these other companies, you know, like, <clears throat> like, like Cisco, you know, the, not all Cisco's are unions, but the ones that are, we're all a part of the same fund, right? At least here on the West Coast we are, okay? I can't speak for the central states or the Eastern, but as far as I know, all of our pension funds are secure. And it's not, you know, all together like it is with, like UPS, they pulled out and they did their own thing. What you gotta understand about them is that uh, management at UPS and the Teamsters, they're all in the same fund, all right? They, they pulled out of ours, okay? They've got their own thing going on, UPS. But let's stay on track here. There's just a lot of information that I've been learning that I wanna convey to you and make sure that you guys understand all this stuff and understand, don't allow Okay, you non-union guys that are new to all this, that came that came over to be union, whether it's ABF or UPS or or Cisco or UNF or these other companies, man, is you it's important to understand, okay? You're going to hear all these guys, all these non negative non-union uh, especially the these corporate people. You'll see oftentimes on social media, they have no name, they're anonymous. You got to understand that these are probably haters that couldn't make it in the union as laborers um, or they're these corporate guys that are trying to inject this anti-union venom into your bloodstreams. OK, the hardcore men and women that have been, you know, my dad, as you all know, retired Teamster. I know how this I know how beneficial this is. Right. And you guys that say that that Teamsters are not needed anymore. Yes, they are. As long as there's labor in this world, the Teamsters are necessary, will always be necessary. They are the judge and jury that holds the companies accountable, okay? Now, it's our responsibility as Teamsters to go out and make, make union brothers and sisters of the nation as much as we can. It's our responsibility to carry on the torch, okay? But you gotta have a passion for it. When it's when being a union is in your blood, right? You never give up, never give up. Go out there, continue to talk to these guys, Old Dominion, XPO. Um, you know, uh, Estes, so many guys have seen my content from those companies and have come over and I've gotten to know these guys and they will tell you firsthand. There's interviews coming up that especially this guy from Old Dominion who's here at ABF right now, I'm gonna interview him pretty soon and a few other guys I'm gonna start going all around and you're gonna start seeing this channel move a heck of a lot more. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, as far as this, this looks, it looks pretty promising. Um, I don't think, just my opinion, I don't think yellow's gonna go down. It got a little iffy there, but thank God that so many men's, men and women's jobs, careers are gonna be protected because that's what this is in freight. OK, any union job you've got, it's a career. You know, you've got your health um, sorted out for you because of the Teamsters. You've got a pension sorted out for you because of the Teamsters. When it comes down to being a man, it's all about accountability. We're brothers and sisters of this union, and we have to go out and make more brothers and sisters. Uh, we have to go out and, and, and communicate with understanding. Right. And when it comes to these non-union men and women out there, they don't know what they don't know, you guys. It, it took me a while, even as um, someone who was brought up union, right? To really understand these benefits because the three years that I worked non-union, let me tell you something, man. Uh, actually, only the first two years. To see the way I've been getting paid, taken care of, and looked after is unparalleled. And you can only find that as a union laborer employee. So some good news for you guys, especially those of you at yellow, I'm rooting for you. Uh, if you guys, you know, had gone on strike and all that, I would have been there with you 100% of the way. Mr. By the Mile, you're home for discussions based on my knowledge and experience of trucking the red pill and survival. I'm gonna come out to you with a lot more information. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Take care, stay safe. All you truck drivers out there, new and veteran, all you Teamsters, Local 63, see you on the road.